Okay, folks, we're going to take a journey through the commissary in the kill grid, ladies and gentlemen. We've just walked into a Costco. And the first thing you see are these 20 foot TV sets. On one side, on the other side, are a bunch of appliances like these microwave ovens and these smart appliances that are all going to run on Wi Fi. The microwave view. Look at the TVs just stacked up. Look at the mind control devices. Look at all of them. Look at this place. Here are the smart appliances that are water conservation. They don't wash your clothes well. Wi-Fi, built-in Wi-Fi. Come on over here and have a look at this weaponry that they're trying to have you bring into your house. Look at these things with the antennas on them. Look at this. There's the blue light and the blue glow, folks. Look at this. Look at this, Wi-Fi systems for 7,500 feet of coverage. Can you believe this? Look at these gaming systems. Wireless keyboards. All of the microwave devices to kill you, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the wireless systems. It's all wireless. They don't want you to be healthy. They want you to be microwaved constantly. Everything has an antenna now. You see this? Look at this. Everything. Wireless. 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 Microwaves. Microwaves. Microwave emissions. The wave of the future is to stay inside your apartment as a prisoner and stare at blue glow screens and be surrounded and mesmerized as you're euthanized by the frequencies. Logo look familiar? Tablets, headphones, laptops, wireless printers, Fitbits as you stay inside and microwave yourself. TVs, TVs, TVs. Come and get your TVs. Come and get everything to kill yourself with and stay up all night and ruin your health and get insomnia. It's all right. These are all a bunch of household appliances here. I wanted to bring your attention to these mattresses. You see, what you're sleeping on, ladies and gentlemen, is an antenna farm. See, once you bring in all the wireless devices into your house, then you can sleep on an antenna farm that amplifies the microwave signals as you sleep. You see, there are steel coils inside these mattresses, and the more microwave devices you have in your house, the more emissions you're exposed to. This is all part of the plan. Did you ever wonder why they got you sleeping on steel coils and they've got Wi-Fi routers in every room? It's to kill you. It's part of eugenics agenda. Let's move on. Now, the dogs are eating better than the people, folks. The dogs are eating better than the people. The dog food is healthier than the people food, ladies and gentlemen, because people aren't eating salmon meal and sweet potatoes, but the people are. And the fish are eating or being eaten by the cats, not the human beings. And here's another component, the LED lighting, folks. The LED lighting is destroying people's retina and destroying their circadian rhythm. LED lighting has now replaced incandescent. That's another part of the weapon there to go section of the commissary look at that you know how much sugar is in that this is where you can get your wheat all the sugar and wheat that your body can dream of you see everything for sale here is part of the agenda wheat, high fructose corn syrup, 
sugar. Sodium nitrites, all of the amenities, folks. All day long, and here's a place for you to sit to eat it. All right, so we're back in the prison. And I want you to take a look at the vitamins here. Or at least that's what they're called. They're actually supplements. That's what they're labeled as. These are highly toxic synthetic derivatives that are being marketed to masses of unsuspecting people that are actually harming their health by consuming these products. There's nothing natural or beneficial about these products. In fact, a lot of the ingredients are petrochemical derivatives and fillers and stabilizers. But you see, if you eat this diet of wheat, glyphosate-laced wheat, and processed sugar, refined sugar, high fructose corn syrup, and you stare at these screens all day, you're gonna need these reading glasses and this headache medication and uh, things for acid reflux and uh, hemorrhoids and bad joints. Look at these children's vitamins, look at this. They're marketing this stuff to children. I can't even pronounce some of these ingredients. See these big old TV sets over here with the blue light. These are advanced digestive probiotic products. These are designed to aid in your intestinal flora health, your gut health. And it makes you wonder why these are necessary, but I'll tell you why. Because what happens is in the presence of microwaves, and wheat and all this wireless exposure and all these wireless emissions all this insomnia from the blue light and microwave wi-fi destroying melatonin suppression from the blue lights on the tv and the cordless phones that are emitting by the way did you know that these cordless phones give off as much radiation as a cell phone stuck to your head all day even when they're sitting on the base station because these why these deck phones are constantly communicating with the base station even if they're not being used if they're on and the power's on, they're communicating, they're emitting. Everything here is responsible for the destruction of human health, folks. Look at the antennas on this. You know what this is doing to your children? You know what this is doing to their cognitive function? You know what this is doing to their memory? Look at the blue light, folks. The blue light is the color of the century now. Everything's wireless. Everything is waterproof and wireless. Everything. Let's move around a little more. Let's move through the prison commissary here. Now we've got smoke alarms that are wireless. Got the whole house wireless. Look at that. Not much here except for these electric toothbrushes that help you, of course, apply the uh, fluoride even further into your gums as it really works the fluoride into your gums. And as you use these electric shavers, you can use that alcohol-based solution that soaks right through your skin and gets into your bloodstream. But these are basically fluoride applicators. It's part of the eugenics agenda. And all of this uh, sonic activity, this high-frequency vibration, is not really good for your uh, brain fluids either. But that's a whole different discussion. So we know there's plenty of ways to apply the fluoride. And of course, life wouldn't be complete without that. Let's go over here. What else do we have? Here's the siren. Here's something to give you insomnia. You drink this every day, you'll never be able to sleep. The siren is the symbol from back in the day when the sailors would be out at sea for months at a time. There were no women on the boats. They were really lonely and desiring women. And they'd hear these sounds that thought they were mermaids. And it would lure the ship and all its crew into the rocks and kill everybody. And of course, we have Starbucks here, which is one of the biggest coffee companies going. And the agendas they push are as anti-male as you can get, anti-family as you get. Here is a microwave oven, ladies and gentlemen. You can get one for 100 bucks now. You know how much microwave radiation leaks out of these things? One of the biggest causes of Down syndrome now is young girls and young women sitting in front of these things right at the level that they're carrying their eggs. A lot of kids would look at the microwaves as a popcorn pop when they're a little laying on their tummy and direct line of sight with their eggs. These are weapons, folks. Microwave ovens are weapons. They leak, they put out all kinds of fields. 
They ruin the food you're eating. Let's move on. Oh, here we go. Let's carbonate your water. Let's make a soda stream here. Let's make something to further acidify your blood and dissolve your bones even faster and increase your sugar consumption. Let's take perfectly natural water and, and ruin it. And actually now they're, out, they're having you do it instead of having it come in a bottle. Now, cookware. It's a great way to get metals and uh, all kinds of bizarre Teflon derivatives into your food and into your body. That's one of the ways they do it, is with the cookware, folks. Because these pans, when you heat them up, they give off PFE, which is a derivative of the Teflon coating. And of course, it's a halide-based compound, a non-stick compound. Let's continue to move through the commissary here. As we proceed, we'll pass the automotive aisle. Thank God we can still drive our cars. Agenda 21 is not in full swing. Let's talk about solar energy, ladies and gentlemen. These people want you to put this on your roof. Do you know what kind of dirty electricity fields these produce? Do you know what kind of sine wave inverters you need to neutralize that? Do you know what this does to the transformer and everybody connected to your transformer in your neighborhood? Solar energy produces a lot of dirty electricity that runs through your house. What do we have here? Batteries are nice to have. Some of the things they sell here are very important to have. Some of the things here are not. You could talk about the detergents. Some of these things are nice, like the cleaning towels, batteries, security lamps. You gotta have a fire extinguisher. You know they use halide compounds in the fire extinguishers. All right, let's talk about the pet food, folks. When's the last time you really ate that for dinner? Pets do it every night. These dogs and cats are eating better than the people. Organic, natural dog food. You see, the animals are eating a balanced diet and the human beings are eating the sugar and the high fructose corn syrup and all of the uh, preservatives and all of the chemicals. As the dogs and cats are fed the fish and the meat and the bone meal, we eat the garbage. But that's by design, folks. That's by design. Now, we got problems, and we sure know how to deal with them. Because one of the biggest problems we have is dealing with reality, and this certainly helps. Because all the liquor in the world isn't going to solve our problems, but you would think by the looks of this place that it certainly does. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with having to drink once in a while. You should be able to control yourself if you have any willpower. But th th this is another part of the agenda, folks. They just surround us with all this wine and booze, hard liquor, wine, more wine, more wine over here. I mean, you could go on for days in this joint if you're into mixing them up. You're into the good stuff, like the blue label. They might even have some black label here. Just lots of booze. Both sides of the aisles, just booze, booze, booze. Life's one big party as you're euthanized by the eugenics masters, masquerading as our friends. All right, so let's get over here to the wheat. Wheat and sugar. The Bisco's logo is an old television set with an antenna on top of it. And they say there's no high fructose corn syrup in this, but there's still wheat and there's still refiner syrup and there's still sugar. Let's see, they enrich the flour. They're using honey, using artificial flavor. Flour is a product that's produced by grinding up wheat and then it's bleached. And the wheat's grown with glyphosate and all kinds of Roundup and it's totally toxic. And people are just drinking their lives away and eating all this wheat. I've had enough of the booze aisle here. But this is the wheat aisle. This wheat flour will kill you. Because wheat flour is the same as sugar. As you can see, we're being surrounded by it. I mean, now we get over here into the beer section. There's cases of beer everywhere. 
And then there's the potato chips made out of potato flour and how they market the wheat and the crap to the kids here. You can see there, now they're making uh, beets and uh, beets, which are nothing but sugar, turning those into chips. Peanut butter pretzels. I mean, this is wheat and, uh, you know, peanuts. I mean, this is all the most unhealthy food you could eat that will make you fat, that will make you sick, that will give you chronic inflammation, make you retain water, give you high blood pressure, ruin your teeth, uh, make you deficient in vitamins and minerals. And of course, they want you to microwave the popcorn with the artificial flavoring, the artificial color, send your kids to school with these, a colorful selection of poison here. It's unbelievable. Factory farm, poultry. I know we got to eat meat. I know, it's tough. But when we get into the wheat, you can see here there's, look at this, cookies, brownies, pastries, bagels, bread, rum, vodka, gin, wine sweet wine, more bread, all kinds of bread, all kinds of wheat. These are all made of flour and all of this flour is killing everybody and making everybody extremely fat. Your body cannot possibly burn off all these calories so your body immediately secretes insulin and stores it as fat and that's why you see all these people that can't lose weight because they're surrounded by cookies and croissants more cookies and icing for their cakes and more cookies and you got pecan and oatmeal and chocolate and you got all this just it's an endless uh, sugar fest with wheat and margarine and artificial flavors and stabilizers if you want to try to eat healthy they're going to tell you not to eat the swordfish they're not going to tell you to eat the mackerel but yet they're going to sit here and they're going to feed you farm fish that's right, folks. We're going to feed you farmed fish. Farmed catfish, farmed salmon, farmed trout, farmed tilapia. And all of this stuff is grown in ponds that are full of chemicals and antibiotics and methoxyquin additives to the food. And yet they're telling you not to eat the swordfish that spent its entire life in the ocean swimming thousands of miles while these things are literally taking dumps on top of each other, rubbing up against each other, so they gotta continue to spray these ponds with antifungal and antimicrobial agents and all kinds of stabilizers and chemicals and antibiotics in the water. So even though they're gonna give you health warnings like as if they really care about you, they really are just gonna surround you with more stuff to kill yourself with. Now, if you're really having a good day, this is how you can really do it and do yourself in. I mean, this is not just sugar. This is the highest concentrations imaginable, along with all kinds of other toxic crap. And it makes me sick and it breaks my heart to see kids licking their fingers when they get their hands in this garbage. How did this birthday tradition turn into such a festival of destruction? Well, how does Friday night turn into such a festival of gluttony and destruction as well? Look at the ingredient list in this. I just thought cheesecake was made out of milk and sugar. What is this, Encyclopedia? Is this Encyclopedia Britannica? What is this? I get a kick out of this. It's called 100% grass-fed beef, oral hormones and our antibiotics. And you would think by looking at this with a picture of a cow on there, that you're eating beef sausages, when in fact there's a bunch of pork in there too. So you get over here and you think you're on some paleo diet and you're getting sodium nitrite, sodium erythorbrate, and uh, monosodium glutamate, all kinds of different things. More hot dogs, more sausages, more preservatives. You know, these are actually ground up heads, guts, tails, even penises and, 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 and vaginas and breasts of animals. That's what goes into these things. These are not the normal parts of the meat. And let me tell you something, there's nothing wrong with eating meat, folks. But there's a problem eating all the parts that all ground up into one mess. Here's a bunch of cheese. I mean, cheese is actually good for you. Depends on what's in it, but I'm not gonna tell you not to eat cheese because cheese is healthy. Problem is what they're doing to the cows to make them make so much milk that got me worried. Listen, there's nothing wrong with a glass of wine and a little bit of cheese, folks, but 
you know, you don't take five pounds of the stuff on wheat flour and spray it all around. That's not going to get you anywhere. And you come over here, you know, these hands, a bunch of soaked nitrite laden. Okay, here we go. This is the most toxic food in the store, folks. Norwegian smoked salmon. Now, these salmon are raised in the Baltic Sea. It's a landlocked toxic waste dump in Europe. It's got some of the most polluted water in the world, and these fish are fed in a farm raised environment, a bunch of bottom feeding fish from the Baltic that are full of toxins and chemicals and antibiotics and all kinds of things. It's really bad what's going on, but this is probably the most toxic food you can buy, Norwegian smoked salmon. You stay away from that, avoid it like the plague. I'm telling the truth, folks. These are the facts. You're still better off with uh, with an avocado. But if you're that lazy and you want to fill up the toxic landfills and create, continue to create problems for our environment. But what's really the worst thing in all of these products here is the citric acid. Citric acid is added as a preservative to a lot of these products and it affects your body's ability to uptake and metabolize the nutrients in raw greens and salads. So it actually works against consuming the right foods. This is really a dastardly event here, folks, when we have these Gatorade bottles being handed out to children. The sports figures promote this crap. Gatorade, I believe, is owned by Pepsi. Gatorade is a brew of toxic artificial colors and artificial sweeteners and artificial flavors. And they add minerals in here, and they say it quenches your thirst. Folks, the only thing that quenches your thirst is water. How do they come up with these bizarre colors? What kind of chemicals are involved in making these colorings? What kind of chemicals are leaching out of these bottles? Well, what kind of sweeteners are they using in here? We got sugar, dextrose, and citric acid, and modified food starch and ester glycerol ester of resin and red 40 and blue one so you got colors and stabilizers totally unnatural chemicals and kids are guzzling this stuff when they're thirsty and this is a criminal activity here folks absolutely criminal marketing this stuff to children so now we come to the frankenfruit section where everything is about five times the size of what it should be and uh most of this stuff is grown, hooked up to chemical drips and watered with a bunch of chemicals and fertilizers. And this is where they really, really... You see, because if you eat all the stuff they sell you here, you're going to need to be cleaning your toilet all the time and wiping your backside more than you can imagine. That's why you're going to need this really soft stuff because your hemorrhoids are going to be bothering you from eating all this constipating crap. And you're going to need to be buying this in bulk because you're going to need to. Because the entire agenda is designed to turn you into a dying, sickened animal. Here we go again with the colors. Unbelievable colors. This section right here is on the way out. And they, there's every poisonous beverage known to man here, folks. A bunch of fake crap, all designed to get you to think you're doing yourself a favor by drinking this garbage. This is all to adulterate or including adulterated water. A bunch of corn dogs, hot dogs, ice cream. They call this organic stuff. It's all sugar. It's all a bunch of all artificial flavors, artificial colors. There's not even any oranges. Look at this demonic crap here. It's got pictures of grapefruits on it. There isn't an ounce of anything remotely resembling citrus or any natural extract of citrus in sunny delight. It's one of the worst things you could buy. The citric acid is really a big problem in these beverages, and all this wheat and corn is just creating havoc. Look at all of these wheat products, all of this refined flour that is being turned into these bakery products. And over here, they've got you taking yogurt that's full of sugar, a little bit of kombucha. It's probably really decent in this place. Look at this. The highest glycemic index imaginable. Carrots being turned into juice. I've never seen pomegranates uh, turn into a bottle like that. You're not supposed to drink juice from a pomegranate. You're supposed to eat the things. Look at all this bread. Look at all this wheat. Look at all this wheat flour. It is designed to cause chronic inflammation, diabetes, all kinds of health problems. There isn't a thing here that's healthy, folks. 
All of this stuff is designed to make you sick. All of this wheat has been grown with glyphosate and all kinds of Monsanto products. It has taken it up and has absorbed it. The flour is bleached, refined, brominated. The wrong form of iron is added to it to give it some sort of nutritional value, the synthetic vitamins, the folate. Instead of being folate, they put folic acid in the wheat. Here's some over here. This is the real evil section right here, folks. This is a children's cereal section. Look at this. Look at how they track the children to this stuff. Some of these cereal boxes actually have pictures of vampires on them. You know, see how they get the kids? That's right, folks. They get the kids to eat this stuff. It rots their teeth out. It makes them fat. It makes them unable to think. It makes them unable to stay awake in class. This is evil, ladies and gentlemen. This is what they're doing to the children. And it's the same players. It's the same. Look at chocolate cocoa bunnies. Are you kidding me? You can't do this to children. This is evil. This is wrong. You don't send children to school with this stuff. Skippy, that's not real peanut butter. That's a bunch of sugar and palm oil. Look at this. Pop-tarts. There's no strawberries in this. There's no blueberries in this. There's no cherries in this. This is a bunch of refined sugar and synthetic chemicals made in laboratories, produced in refineries, and put together in factories. Look at what they're doing to the kids. Let's hang over here before I run out of battery. Look at this. This is just, by the way, that's 666 right there in the monster. Look at this place. And of course, there's a pharmacy over there. You see, this is where you end up, ladies and gentlemen. If you live according to this, if you consume all of this stuff, that's your destination right there, the pharmacy, all right? Look at this. High fructose corn syrup, sugar, ester of wood rosin, brominated vegetable oil, sodium benzoate, Carbonated water, phosphoric acid, caramel colored, acesulfame potassium, aspartame. Here we go. You want to have some sweetness? There it is, folks. There's all the fake stuff. And we get to the, the sacks of the flour, the sacks of the sugar. This is the bags of death right here. These are the bags of death. There it is. Bags of death. You can't make bags of death organic. It's still bags of death. Now... GMO corn oil, highly refined. Hey, they got rid of the trans fats and they've created this new product where it's not hydrogenated. It's soybean oil, folks. And there's silicon in this now. They put silicon, dimethyl siloxane is in these oils. This is the worst aisle of all because this is the raw materials that go into the death products of the wheat and the sugar and the breads. And here's the fake, here's the fake stuff. Here are the players in a tooth decay and the destruction of human health, Coca-Cola, Pepsi. And then, like I said, if you continue to eat this food, this is where you're gonna end up, folks. This is the end of the line. And these are the products for the people at the end of the line right here. Or you're going to be crapping your pants and pissing your pants. You got to wear these pads. You got to wear all this stuff because your body has fallen apart. You're going to need all these things because your body won't heal from a cut. You get addicted to all these things. You got to be sterilizing all these things because you have all these things being done to your body by all the medical procedures. You got to have gloves. They want you to think this makes you healthy. It's a bunch of sugar and carbohydrates. And all this infant formula is a bunch of garbage. Instead of breast milk, this is what they're feeding the kids, a bunch of synthetic compounds. This stuff isn't food, ladies and gentlemen. This stuff's not food. What, what is all this? I mean, look at this. You gotta have contacts because you're staring at the computer screens and TV sets, so your eyes are all screwed up, so you gotta wear contact lenses. And you got all these crazy compounds that are supposed to help your vision. This is a joke. They want you taking pills to make your eyes better as you walk into a place where they feed you garbage and there's tons of TV sets that ruin your vision. This is an insane asylum, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a bunch of useless, worthless, oxidized oil in some glycerin capsule that's supposed to help your health. These are all synthetic versions of vitamins here. If you know anything about chemistry and chirality and molecular configuration, you look up the ingredients of this stuff. These are all really fake, cheap imitations of naturally occurring compounds that are really harmful to human health. I mean, this, this whole thing, is, to me, is a maddening experience. 
and the masses of people are clueless to what's being done to them by these corporations. And it's all a matter of self-infliction, ladies and gentlemen. And it's unbelievable. And it's just endless. I mean, the, the, everyone's joints are bothering them because of the chronic inflammation from all of the wheat and the sugar consumption. So they've got to have all these things. I mean, your joints are supposed to move free. You're not supposed to need this stuff. Now they got joint juice. I mean, you're supposed to smoke that. I mean, what are you supposed to do with this stuff? Daily multivitamins. Anyway, I think I've had enough, but this is the end of the line. You see, folks, you're going to end up dead if you eat all this stuff and take all this stuff, and that's what they want. Oh, there you go.